Mom, have you seen Ahsoka yet? Have you watched Ahsoka yet? N no. I, I keep meaning to, and I keep forgetting. And I'm also, honestly, I'm a little worried because I never watched, like, the Clone Wars and stuff that I won't know, like, that there'll be things that are... I mean... Yeah. Anyway, whatever. There's, like, a big story arc in Clone Wars that everything in future Ahsoka, like, references. But it's very simple, so I could I could tell you in the future. Oh, yeah. I won't spoil it now, obviously. Okay. But, <laughs> it, but the show is also heavily based on Star Wars Rebels. Okay, I haven't seen that either. But from what I've heard is that it's actually doing a good job of, like, being its own story while also... So, like, if you didn't see the other thing, you're not like, what is going on? But maybe yeah. having seen the other things would add more richness to the story. Because they're, um, they also have some, like, flashbacks that, like, show you some stuff that flashbacks. happened in Star Wars Rebels. Which is weird, because Star Wars Rebels was animated. This is live action. And so the flashbacks are live action versions of the cartoon. Sure. Okay. Which is, like, oh, yeah. that is so trippy to watch. That's interesting. Do they um, do, do they block it like exactly the same or? Yeah, I think it's filmed exactly the same way and everything. Dang. Like people have done side by side perspectives. Oh, yeah. And it like looks like it's some weird dimension thing happened where like it's gone from cartoon into live action. OK, totally weird. Random sidebar. There is a woman on TikTok who recreates um, dances done in animated TV shows. That's funny. And you know how like on animated TV shows, like somebody will like the movements will be like really super quick and like kind of jarring and not anything like a real human being could do. Yeah. I don't know how, what she does with her editing, but she'll do like Rick and Morty stuff or like SpongeBob stuff or whatever. And then she'll put it side by side with the cartoon. And I don't know. Anyway, it's really funny. That was a random, really random side note. Um, I mean, it's cool. So yeah, that's, it's entertaining. I wish I remembered her name, but welcome to ADHD. <laughs> Ta-da. I don't yeah. know what HD is, but my doctor said I have 80 of them. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's like a dad joke. It's not like a dad joke. That is a dad joke. But you're not a dad. Well, you have a cat. Yeah. And, and a, a, and a ge leopard gecko. Leopard gecko. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a pet dad. Aw. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just like, I'm getting so excited for like all the stuff that's going to be coming out this fall. Fall is already like my favorite time of the year. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> fall is the best season. And if you think any differently, you're dumb. <laughs> for me, it's not even like, I've, I feel like a big thing for people is the pumpkin spice stuff. Uh, whatever. Pumpkin spice seasonal stuff is okay. Like, eh. And I can just make it at it's home. It's gotten out of hand, though. Like, there were, like, pumpkin spice Cheerios. I think there were, like, pumpkin spice Ugh. Oreos at one point. Ew. Yeah. No. We did get the uh, those Halloween Oreos, the Boo Oreos. Yeah, but they're just a different color. Yeah, they're they're cute. Yeah. And they got, like, different designs and but stuff. But they taste like an Oreo. Yeah. Like it, a, a normal. It tastes like an orange Ore Oreo, not Oreo. Oreo? Oreo. Um, but, like, the, the leaves are all changing. It's just a good time of year. And yeah. on top of it, it's, they're just releasing, like, all of this stuff. They're releasing so many video games and shows. and Yeah, it is, like, a, a time of, like, a renewal. Like, summer is everybody's on vacation. People take breaks. And so a lot of times, you know, there will be summer blockbuster movies. But, like, TV shows are not yeah. really generating usually, like, a ton of new stuff. And, yeah, they just kind of wait for the fall. Yeah. I would say I next thing I'm or Starfield is supposed to come out on the six. What's Starfield? Uh it's a video game. Oh. Um But I got pre order, so I already have it and I've been playing it. <laughs> Aren't you fancy? <laughs> I am fancy. <laughs> I hold my pinky up while I'm playing it. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Do you but also like, have tea and scones? <laughs> <laughs> but that I've been really excited for. Um, I Am Groot is going to be releasing in a couple days as well. From the date we're recording this yes, podcast. Yes, yeah. Probably this will, this will be out. already out by the time we release this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Episode. The I Am Groot season two will be out. I'm very much looking forward to that. I am very much is looking forward to that, Is it still Baby too. Groot? Or yeah, is it like Teenage Groot. Groot? Okay. 
I wasn't sure if they moved on to like Teenage Groot or something. No. Um, Baby Groot is awesome. And then uh, Ahsoka will keep going as well for a while. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many episodes are in it, though. Oh, okay. But mm-hmm. it'll be fun. It sucks because the only thing, the only problem I have, like with TV shows, with a ton of TV shows and stuff coming out yeah. during fall, I like, I really enjoy that because then I can like watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Like I can go back and forth. But when video games come out back to back during fall, oh yeah, I'm like, oh, but I want to play this game, but I want to play that game, but I want to play this game. Yeah. Because I mean, games, you don't sit down and play them for 40 minutes and you're like, well, that was an entertaining <laughs> right. bit. Yeah. You, you sit down yeah. for like hundred hours and you're only a quarter of the way through. <laughs> I haven't done anything like that in a really long time. With, except for, you know what, honestly, the last time for me, cause I just don't play a lot of traditional video games anymore. Maybe like the little ones on your like phone or whatever. But yeah. um, the last time I did something like that was with a rock band. <laughs> and uh, we had a couple friends that would come over and we would just, we were just going through the whole tour thing, you know? Yeah. And I remember you, you were so young. I think you were like three when it came out and you were like rocking the drums. Oh yeah, I was. <laughs> you were really good at the drums. In fact, I think we tried to get you into drumming lessons after that, but I think at that time we couldn't afford them. <laughs> but uh, so, so we were like, well, that rock band teach them and you were really good. But, yeah, I think that's the last time I really got into, like, uh, a video game. I mean, I played stuff with you, but, like, uh, what was it? Like, Lego Halo Star Wars. Halo as well. Well, <laughs> you did Halo, and you played A Way Out with me A as Way well. Out was bad. <laughs> it was very, was I really wish we would have video recorded that, because that was very entertaining how bad I was at that game. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. <laughs> most I've ever laughed because I was just so bad at it. I think video games, it's like, it's so cool being able to spend $70 now. Mm-hmm. And because, I mean, recently, I don't know if you know, but video games used to be like $60 a pop when they came out. Mm-hmm. But now there's $70 a pop when they come out, mm-hmm. which sucks. But at the same time, games have now gone from like, six hour long campaigns to like yeah, yeah. hundred hour long campaign plus an end game that you can have hundreds more hours of content right with afterwards. And it's yeah. like crazy. Or, you know, one of my favorite games of all time is just free. Oh, really? And has like thousands of hours of content that What's you can that? play. Warframe. Warframe's free? Warframe is free. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, there's a lot of like, if you want to progress really quickly in the game, then there's a lot of stuff where you can like, buy your way through obviously oh eh. but um, it's not as much fun yeah it's not and it's not even one of those games where it's like a paywall is blocking you from doing stuff you can still easily grind through the game for free oh um hmm. it's just that there's so much stuff in the game that if you want to progress to stuff faster then you'd have to buy it and i think it's similar to some of the board games your dad gets like uh some of the ones that are a little more like commercially appealing, like they might be sold at a target or something maybe may be around like $25, $30 or something. But some of the ones he gets that are like these gigantic, big, long storytelling things with multiple campaigns and blah, blah, blah. They're, they're going to be more expensive, like closer to a video game price or even more. Um, but like, oh, yeah, he, that's bought like hundred. Oh yeah. He's bought some that were hundred. And the one that he's, I don't even know how much the one was that he is playing now with his friend on Wednesday nights, but they've been doing that for months now and they're still not through it. What's, <laughs> you know? Yeah. What's even crazier is like now you have like, you know, all the streaming services and stuff. You just buy the streaming service and you, you have hundreds of stuff that you can watch. Yeah. Yeah. Video games are starting to get that now too. Oh yeah. There used to be like a video game subscription thing that you could do where it's like they would bring oh, yeah. games it was to like your door. Gamefly or something. Something. Th- there was a couple of them. Yeah. But now like that kind of went out and mm-hmm. that hasn't been around for a little bit. I think it kind of went the same way as when Netflix moved from <clears throat> email or mailing the DVDs. Like I think it was kind of that same era. I think it kind of went under though. I think. Oh, did like, it? Like I think it disappeared. And maybe it didn't, and it just is so like uncommon now that and they don't have any commercials i don't see for it anymore like i used to see commercials for it yeah um but now there's stuff like xbox game pass 
or um, PlayStation kind of has it, but it's not as good. But Xbox Game Pass is crazy because you pay like, I think I pay like $15 a month or something like that. Mm. But I get so many games for free. Like the list is like 500 games long of wow. games that I can just play for free as long as it's on Xbox Game Pass. Some games move off of it. Some games come on sure. to it. Well, so it sounds like the Netflix yeah. of gaming. And so many games will come out starting on Game Pass. So, so many games that are fresh and new will come out for free, basically, for these people who have Game Pass. And so now there's even more hours of content for you to consume that you don't even have to pay for. It's yeah. like trying to figure out what I want to do is making my head explode. I'll tell you what is very interesting now as opposed to when... I was younger, oh, so many years ago, uh, is there's so many streaming services. And it used to be like, uh, like uh, I think I'm, I could totally be wrong on this because I haven't like, I didn't like look this up ahead of time or anything, but it was like, there was things like blockbuster video stores, right? And you had to go get your videos and things like that. And then Netflix have, came about and it was like, oh, you can get them in the mail and you don't even have to go to a store. And yeah. you know what I mean? And then it went digital, but Netflix was only, it was renting things that were already made. Like it wasn't creating its own content. Oh you yeah. Know? Now there's all the Netflix originals. Right. And Hulu was the same way. It was a way to like re, uh, be able to see all the things on different networks, right? You know? Yeah. And now Hulu has its own content. And then it's like now certain, so like NBC decided to pull its stuff and put it on Peacock. And then there's, there's stuff that's exclusive to Peacock. And then, you know what I mean? Like there's just, it's like everything now, Paramount Plus. Uh, so streaming services have reached the video game debacle. Well, there's, <laughs> well, and Disney TV Plus, And there's like, there are just so many streaming things. And it used to be like you had cable and then maybe you rented movies from a thing. And now it's like, which streaming services gives you the most content you want to watch. Yeah. And if you sign up for all of them, it's going to be more expensive than cable, but everything has exclusive content. So you I know what I mean? It's, it's cause streaming services kind of screwed themselves over by making it, making themselves less money by making streaming services. Well, I wonder how much that relates to the writer's strike right now, because part of the problem is the the executives were like, well, we don't really know what's going to happen with streaming. And they like pigeonhole these uh, writers and some actors into accepting really low royalties or no royalties. And the, so they the writers uh, especially got like screwed out of royalties and the. But yeah, I can guarantee you the executives are still making their big bucks and the studios That's are true. raking in the profits. And, you know, <laughs> so I don't know. It's just it's just so it's so overwhelming um, and it can be really pricey if you want to see everything. And so I don't know for me, I just am like, well, I'm just not going to get to see that show. That's not going to be something I get. to Oh, see, yeah, you know? I'm I'm perfectly fine with just o owning Disney Plus. Yeah. But yeah, streaming services have definitely reached the spot of video because like all this stuff people have been complaining about it. And I'm just sitting there like, oh really? <laughs> As I'm sitting there with my Xbox, PlayStation, right. Switch, <laughs> VR, my PC, Steam. Yeah, I'm like, oh really? Is that the, is that, is the that thing a struggle? Is that frustration? Oh, you don't say. But yeah, yeah, it's 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 super annoying, and so so yeah, so like when I was just out visiting. Uh, my parents, uh, they have Netflix. And so, you know, uh, mom and I were looking for things to watch and, and she's like, Oh, did you ever see queen Charlotte? And I was like, no, we don't have Netflix anymore. Let's watch it. And so we like binged queen Charlotte while I was there, That's you know? <laughs> which was awesome by the way. Is that the Bridgerton? Yeah, it was so good. It was really good. I keep hearing that Bridgerton and like Queen Charlotte and all that is so good. And I love the music for the show, but I've still never watched it because period pieces usually aren't my thing. Yeah, it's also lots of steamy. Oh, no. Steamy, steamy scenes. Mm, it's like. Maybe not. Then. It's like <laughs> practically soft porn at some points. It's like. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Which is super fun to watch with your mother. Oh, I bet. <laughs> So anyway, yeah. So fall releases. Yes. Um, <laughs> there's also like, there's a game that my friends and I tried out 
on uh, like partway through summer where they had this like open beta where everyone could play if they wanted to. And of course they did this midweek hoping that less people would play the open beta because people would be at work or whatever. But of course it still crashed their servers because of the amount of people that wanted to play it. Of course. Um, but they keep saying, they're like, yeah, it's going to come out at the end of summer. And we're like at fall now. And they are still saying it's going to come out at the end of summer. I'm like, well, you got you got like 10 days left, I was going to say, man. technically, <laughs> it's like September 20th or something, right? Yeah. yeah. and um, But the game is amazing. So all my friends and I are like Which holding game? our, it's called X Defiant. Okay. All my friends and I are like holding our breath, hoping, mm. waiting for this thing Wait to come out. It. Because all of us can play it together because it's like squad v squad type thing. Mm -hmm. And you know all the Tom Clancy stuff. You liked like Jack Ryan and mm -hmm. whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of Tom Clancy stuff has been turned into video games. Oh, that makes sense. Um, and it's owned by Ubisoft, which owns all the Tom Clancy stuff. And they also own like Assassin's Creed. Um, they own the Far Cry series. Um, and so this, the X Defiant thing is like Ubisoft's Call of Duty, where they're taking all of these franchises and pitting them against each other. Oh. Um, so it's, it's like, I don't know, it's super fun though, like being able to play all the different franchises in one game. That's interesting. Um, and so we're all waiting because it has like some of our favorite games in it and we're like, can play the characters against each other. We're like waiting. Man, I can't imagine what it would have been like if I had this kind of access to things when I was like, because your uncle and I used to always, uh, we had an Intellivision. Ooh. That's, yeah, we didn't even, I want to say we had maybe an Atari at some point, but I'm not sure. I, but I remember we had an Intellivision, but we also had um, an Apple 2C. Like pretty early on, we had my because uh, Pop Pop was so into computers and electronics and everything. We had we were one of the few families that had um, an Apple II C at the time it came out. And we I remember I'm pretty sure, and this could be my bad memory. I'm pretty sure we played King, no, not King Kong, Donkey Kong on it. But maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. But. But anyway, yeah, but we played, you could only put play at home. You put the cartridge in. It was, you know, early Mario Brothers, very pixelated. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's yeah. only so much you could do. But I wonder what I would have been, like, if I could play online with my friends. Like, yeah, that would have been. And even now, all of those games have come out are now all on emulators on PC. Oh, really? So, like, you can play them all. Like the old school versions? Yeah. Wow. So you can emulate any of them on your computer. And your computer probably could barely even feel that it's on there at this point. Did I ever tell you, I think I told you this before, that we actually had a full-sized arcade game in our basement at one point? I don't remember you telling me that, but that's cool. So my dad uh, had was part of this studio of other photographers, and they had some video games in the studio. And when they decided to like go their separate ways and start their own businesses, he, uh, I think each one of them took one of the... And I think it was Space Invaders, I think is the one, That's cool. one we had. That's awesome. And so we had a full-sized arcade thing in the basement. And at the same time, so my, my dad uh, does a lot of, well, did a lot of photography for Hershey Foods. Yeah. And at the, at the moment that, like, the same moment that this all happened, Hershey had made something called Skinny Dippers. Oh, and, okay. <laughs> and they were very similar, like, you know, those little cartridges of Nutella that you can get with a little like wafer sticks and you can like there are like little ones one serving thing where you can like dip the wafer stick and the Nutella like yeah. little yeah yeah like the, the, the new Nutella ones they have with like the pretzels and yeah, yeah yeah it was basically that gotcha but it was like Hershey chocolate obviously it was the slightly more healthier version of Fun Dip I don't even know that it's healthier, but <laughs> I guess. I mean, you're dumping straight a up sugar, sugar stick in sugar. <laughs> That's so. true. That's fair. At least with the tell, there's like hazelnut in it. So there's like some protein in there somewhere. Plus it's like a pretzel or a wafer stick. Right. Which is a little better than just a sugar stick. A sugar stick. Sugar and sugar. Woohoo. Uh, yeah. And so, but it, they went, you know, they got discontinued. And so they gave like cases of it to my dad. And so we had cases of these things. And so after school, my brother and I would like go downstairs and we would like grab some of these <laughs> skinny dippers and just play the video game. Anyway, it was, it was very fun back in the olden days. <laughs> I would have 
loved going to their house and playing Space Invaders. Even now. Yeah. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it was it it was it was pretty cool. Yeah. Because I mean now you can play like Space Invaders and stuff, but it all has to be off of emulators. Yeah. And that's not as fun. No. Well, like, I mean also like a full sized arcade game. Like that's super awesome. There's like, something that's kinda of sad, like about not being able to go to arcades anymore. Mm-hmm. Like you can you can go to the the movie theater and go to that little section off to the side that right. has arcade games. Oh yeah, that's right. I always forget about that. Or like Chuck E. Cheese style. Well, there is one places. around here, but it's closing. Nickel, yeah. Nickel World. Yeah. Yeah, they're just. It's just not everybody can do it at home. You know, yeah, there's just I not mean, a market you can't for it. Have the same level of games. Yeah. Um. On oh, the yeah. arcade machines. Like. I wonder if Frank's still has. Do you remember Frank's Cinema when we were living in Blacksburg? Yes. And they had like a whole floor of. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, they also had one of those Coke machines where you could create your own concoction, yes. which was awesome at a movie theater. That is true. That is. I don't know why more movie theaters haven't done that because that is like the best thing to oh, have that at was, a movie theater. That was hands down the best movie theater I'd ever been to. Yeah, and that, <laughs> it, it like opened a year before we moved away. Right, And so we barely had any chance yeah. to even do anything. Well, plus like the bus to get out there was <laughs> sometimes annoying. But That's anyway, true. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and even all of this stuff that we're talking about, it's just September. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like like October's got like some some more crazy stuff going on. Loki. Yes. I'm um, so excited for Loki. I really want Loki season two to come out so bad. It looks so good. Yeah. And it even looks like it's going to tie into Deadpool three. What? Yeah. Or vice versa. Or at least Deadpool three is going to tie into Loki because. Wow. Um, oh, variant. Some of the set scenes. Well, it, it Deadpool three looks like it's Deadpool traveling the multiverse. I was wondering because. Um, I hope this isn't a spoiler. Didn't Wolverine die? In Logan? Yeah. I don't think it is Logan's. It's a different Wolverine? I think so. Maybe but, it's not. But that's what I mean. Like, in order for it to be, in order for Wolverine to be in Deadpool, yeah, and honestly, it would have I, to be. I also do not remember the ending of Logan at all. I just remember it was a great movie, but I don't remember any of it. <laughs> it was great. I don't remember it, but it was wonderful. Yeah. I, I remember, like, the forest scene, but everyone remembers the forest scene. So, um, but yeah, they some of the set releases that they showed, showed, like, it looked like the void at the end of time. Really? With, like. Of Deadpool? Yeah, in Deadpool 3, it showed, like, crash stuff like it shows in, in the first really? season of Loki. One of which was the Fox 20. Uh, logo. Yeah, logo that was <laughs> falling over in the background. But there's a there's a comic series called Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. Oh. Where in one of the universes, Deadpool um, literally just goes on a murdering spree and kills everyone and, like, all the superheroes, all the supervillains everyone why deadpool um and so people are thinking this is going to be like deadpool kills the fox universe or deadpool uh or deadpool kills the multiverse or something like that oh my gosh um uh because you have people that have been recasted from like really old fox marvel movies that were like really bad like like the daredevil movie the Um, one with ben actually i don't know if it was no 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 they they, I think they brought back the actress that played Electra in the Electra yes, movie. Yes, Jennifer Garner. Yes, um, and I think, I think Loki's been is on the cast. Really? I think Tom Hiddleston is on the cast for Deadpool three. I could be wrong because I haven't looked at it in a while. So that is very interesting. Yes. Um, and Deadpool three. When does Deadpool three come out? It keeps getting delayed because of the strikes. The strikes. Um, actually, I don't but know. Loki's coming out in October, right? I, th- I think when the strikes first started happening, it got moved up. Really? Yeah, and then I think now it's getting delayed, though. Seems strange. Deadpool? Nope. I want Deadpool three, please. I just wanted to s- wanted to see if they listed any any of the uh, the actors you were talking about. I think I was also reading something about some of the old X Men coming back. Yeah, but was that in Deadpool or was that in something else? I think that's in Deadpool. Because I, I do know that they are coming out with the X-Men uh, 
97 series. Yes. Yes. That's that's what I was thinking of. Okay. And what is that? They are continuing the X-Men 96 series. Okay, so... 92 to 96, that is. According, I think it's 92 to according to the Deadpool 3 IMDb page, Jennifer Garner is listed as Elektra. Yeah. Um... I wonder if it's going to be a quick cameo, like of him literally just showing up, killing her, and then <laughs> and then disappearing. Oh my gosh, I think I think this one was the girl that was in the first. Well, I guess she was in the first two Deadpool movies. It says Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Was that the short-haired? Yeah. Gotcha. Um, she was in both of them. Yeah. Yeah, she was in both. Um, so she's listed. It doesn't have a lot of people listed. And, uh, and oh, girl- Dopinder's in it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that Dopinder's the Indian Spider-Man? No. In, across the Spider-Verse? I didn't know that. Yeah. I like him. He was, I think he was also in um, Miracle Workers, which was an incredibly funny TV show. And He's such a good actor. Yeah, he really is. He really is. No, uh, I also love um, Negasonic's girlfriend in the second Deadpool where she would be like, hi, Wade. And he'd be like, hi, was it Yukio? I think it was Yukio. He'd be like, hi, Yukio. Oh, yep. She's, she's in it too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love her so much. I don't remember much of, of Deadpool too, except for the, the woman who had all the luck. Oh, Domino. Yeah. 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 So anyway, <laughs> so I'm excited for, Loki season two, because that I think I, I go back and forth between that and Moon Knight being the best Marvel TV series so far. But I Loki. think I mostly land on Loki. Yeah, I, I like Moon Knight better in the comics, but oh, really? the Loki TV show is better. In my I'd, I'd never read the comics. So yeah. um, Moon Knight, I also really like Oscar Isaac, and I think he does a brilliant job of playing. Who's now played both like Stephen and Mark. Three different people in the Marvel Universe. Oh, really? He's played Apocalypse. He's played Moon Knight. Oh my gosh, and, it was Apocalypse. Yeah, and he's played um, 2099 Spider Man. Really? Yeah. That's funny. So he's now in three different. He's in the Fox series, he's in the MCU series, and he's in the, so uh, is he gonna be like the Sony series. The Bruce Campbell of. Yes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> we need. That's still one of the best parts of the Tobey Maguire Spider Man movies. <laughs> Yes. Um, he, he just shows up in all of Sam Raimi's stuff. Yeah. Uh, he was just in something else I watched. I don't remember. Because even in Doctor, he was in the new Doctor Strange movie as well. Or oh, yeah. New, he was the hot dog yeah, vendor that the newer kept Doctor Strange. punching himself. <laughs> um, but the day before the Loki season two comes out, uh, there's also a new game that's coming out. It's a, a new Assassin's Creed game that's coming out. Oh, yeah. But I'm actually not that excited for it. It oh, doesn't no. look that good. Mm. But hey. Still another thing that's coming out in October. So when was the first Assassin's Creed put out? Two thousand seven. Okay. And they released like one a year for about a decade. I just read something the other day about Assassin's Creed, but now I can't remember what it was. But it had something to do with its its start. But I don't know. Yeah, they released the first one two thousand seven, and then they had a new one come out like every single year, kind of like the Call of Duty games. But then they kind of stopped doing that a few years ago. Because they're making their games grander. Grander. Yes. Grander. But the game I'm really excited for in October that is also Marvel is Spider-Man 2. That is going to have Kraven the Hunter, and it's going to have Venom, and it's going to have both Spider-Man and Miles Morales Spider-Man. Nice. And um, Spider-Man's going to have iron arms, and then Spider-Man at some point is also going to have the Venom suit. Really? And then, yeah. And there's also... uh, like, do you know, like, the older comics of Spider-Man where, or even, like, the um, uh, Far From Home where he had, the like, the web wings under oh, his yeah, arms? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have that in the game, so you can glide nice. in the game. It's so cool. Nice. And you can even slingshot yourself where you can attach yourself to two buildings and slingshot yourself between two buildings <laughs> and launch yourself across the map. Yeah, so I have a question about this, about Spider-Man, but it's not with the game. So I was reading that like there was a Spider-Man freshman year, but that's going to be an animated series. Yeah. And it's going to be about him getting bitten. Yeah. It's going to be like the 
origin story we didn't really get for the Tom Holland Spider Man. Yeah. But let's do it, this one more, one last time. When is, <laughs> when is, when is a, like Tom Holland coming back in a Spider Man movie or an a, a MCU movie? I'm pretty sure he's signed a contract for three more Spider Man movies. I didn't see them like listed in the upcoming release things. Well, no, because they haven't announced them yet. Oh. It's just that he signed a contract for them. I mean, sure. he's going to be like pushing 40 and they're going to be like, Junior, you're in college. <laughs> this rate. <laughs> yes. He's got a baby face, though. He does so. have a baby face. So um, will, do, will he be in like Avengers, like the Kang Dynasty? Probably. Okay. Which they might be changing away from the Kang Dynasty now with oh, everything that's Jonathan going Majors? on. With, yeah, with Jonathan Major. Yeah. I mean, they could recast Kang. They could, but oh, he was such a I good king. I know, he king. really was a good king. I hate that. Why do people have to be assholes? Yeah. Just seclude yourself to the acting world so we can enjoy. <laughs> so <laughs> enjoy you and not think about your personal life at all. Sorry, we support the act, the writer and actor strike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, all this, all this Spider-Man stuff. So good. The Spider-Man games, the across the Spider-Verse, the newer Spider-Man movies. Yeah. Uh, I love Spider-Man. That's so good. Um, and now through like very weird connections, because like the PS4 Spider-Man has been in the comics in a Spider-Verse crossover. PS4 Spider-Man was in Across the Spider-Verse as well in the... Oh, yeah. Among all of those Spider-Men. Um, <laughs> he's apparently the one that, like, stops video game uh, spider enemies that are traversing the multiverse. Oh, interesting. Um, and then... Uh, so, that means that PS4... Or that means that the uh, Across the Spider-Verse is technically connected to the comics. Oh. Through PS4 Spider-Man. And if they did actually mention the MCU in Across the Spider-Verse, then all of a sudden it's all connected. Can you imagine, like, just getting to be, I don't know, whatever age you would have to be to start watching, like, Iron Man or something and have all of these movies <laughs> to, and everything to catch up on? Like, like for me, I was, you know, full-blown adult when uh, Iron Man came out. I was five. Yes, and yeah, and so I've just watched everything as it's come out and like, you know what I mean? But I can't imagine like, you know. I mean, I'll rewatch the entire MCU in like three days, so. I don't even think that's possible. I don't think so either, <laughs> but I'll rewatch in like a week. Like even if you stayed up for 48 hours straight, I don't think it's possible. I said three days. Oh, I thought you said two, I'm sorry. So 72 hours. Uh, yeah, well, it depends on if you include every single episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't. <laughs> Although a lot of people want the, uh, I forget what her name is, but the actress that plays Daisy to come back because she did do an amazing oh, job of yeah. playing Daisy. So yeah. I know this isn't a fall release, but uh, I was thinking about Captain America, Brave New World. Yeah. Uh, Which then Thunderbolts is going to take place oh, yeah. right after that. Oh, oh, and this, this coming fall, I'm very excited for the Marvels. Is it fall? I think November 10th. That's fall. Is it fall? Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was like beginning of winter type. December. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, we can come back to that if you want. But I was just thinking about Captain America because I watched, your dad and I watched um, Ghosted last night, which is with Chris Evans and yeah. Anna Armas. And there's like um, different parts where like different bounty hunters are coming after. So, you know, it's Chris Evans who played Captain America. And, what? The, and, there, and there's different bounty hunters that come after him. And like the first one is Falcon. That's funny. And then um, the the second one is uh, the Winter Soldier. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so I thought it was funny. It's rounded out. <laughs> yeah. And Ryan Reynolds has uh, an appearance too. That's cool. Yeah. But anyway, the Marvels looks really I'm so conflicted about the Marvels because... Like, the Miss Marvel show was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Um, CGI was terrible. Yeah. Everyone goes back to that one scene where she turns into, like, this crystal, and then 
her body falls apart and you just like see her skeleton fall. That was the worst CGI. Oh, oh the, you mean the evil seen. woman. Yeah. 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 It's uh, it's yeah. That's that was really weird. bad. It's also strange writing. I think it was because it was all new writers as well. Cause I mean, it's just like all of a sudden I've had this change of heart. Like it's, I don't know. I was like, cause I think it was new writers working on the series. Mm. She's, uh, she's adorable. Oh yeah, she's she's a great Miss Marvel. Yeah, like she she is a great Miss Marvel. I just, the show itself just wasn't well written, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, I don't know. The movie is conflicting me because I feel like it looks good, but I don't like Captain Marvel that much. I didn't like Miss Marvel that much. I did like Monica Rambeau a lot, and yeah, in and, Wandavision, in Wandavision, that was I great. I really liked her in that. I I really Wandavision had such a slow start for me. Like I didn't dig the like old, like I love Lucy, uh, whatever the I Dream of Jean, like whatever the you know um, older TV show imitations they were doing. Um, but once it got into like, well, when Darcy showed up, yes, <laughs> I was happy. But yeah, I, really, I was like, this show is pretty good. And then Darcy showed up. And I was like, this yeah, is the best this show is the ever. Best show. <laughs> Um, and, uh, Agent Wu. I really like Agent Wu. Yes. Um, but I love him in like anything he's in. So it's so weird. Cause he's so serious in the comics. Oh, really? And so seeing him super serious in the comics, like throws me off. Cause I'm so really? used to like innocent little old Agent Wu. That's like, yeah. it's like, wait, do you actually want to go out to dinner sometime or? Oh yeah. That was funny. But anyway, but also at the end of October. So before even. Marvels comes out uh we have a local lego convention that's going to be happening oh yeah we do i can't wait because there's like no lego stores in the area no and we've, not. this will be the first ever local lego convention so i'm like shaking in my seat here because <laughs> i love legos and i'm 20 and i still love legos <laughs> it says look, 99 a, plus okay i still look, have 79 years look i have um, a friend who is the same age as I am and she loves Legos. She still loves Legos. She does Lego, like la regularly builds Lego sets with her husband. And uh, yeah. So and speaking of Spider-Man and Lego, that 14 year old kid that did all of those Lego scenes and across the spider verse is so impressive to me. I didn't see that. Yeah. This 14 year old kid that like did, um, like remade the trailers for into and across the spider verse in Lego and did an incredible job. Like this kid did it on his own and it literally looks like they did this for a Lego Spider-Man movie. Wow. And, um, Ooh, Lego Spider-Man, they asked him to come on to the across the spider verse movie and do a multiverse scene of a Lego. Wow. Spider-Man. Oh, universe. Wow. That's really interesting. And so he animated all of it and yeah. Dang. Dang. That's pretty cool. It's also cool because the text box that's at the top, it's usually at the top for comics and stuff, was a red Lego brick. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's funny. But yeah, that was cool. Uh, and then also, of course, the very end of October, Halloween. Love Halloween. Definitely one of the best holidays of the year. Yes. Okay. I thought there was like a release related to Halloween you were going to talk about. Oh, no, no, no. I just... <laughs> I mean, just in general, in the fall, Halloween is awesome. <laughs> there kind of is like in Warframe, they're having this event where like one of these characters tells you a horror story and you like live through the horror story. Um, no, thank you. Well, they tell you the horror story and you in order for you not to just be sitting there staring at the person you're you're playing as the person she's telling a story about. But still, no, thank you. OK, <laughs> um, I can't do horror movies. I can't. They're just, I can't do, and I can't do haunted houses and Shelby and I are going I know. to a haunted asylum. I know. And I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, no, no. Well, I mean, it's, uh, like a haunted house that's in an asylum. So it's, it's, oh, yeah, that makes it stuff. better. Well, yeah, <laughs> actually, I don't know. Neither <laughs> of them really bother me that much. So no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to nope no, right out there. I love Halloween. I love Halloween for the, the spooky stuff. The only thing I don't like Halloween for is actually the movies. All the, the thriller slasher movies are all so stupid to me. 
Mm. But yeah, but I just love, I love Halloween. I love, um, I, I think part of it's just because I do like an annual Halloween party and oh, yeah, it's yeah. not even really Halloween themed. I just invite my friends over right. around Halloween. It's just time. an excuse. Yeah, and it's super. Well, fun. except for there was that one time you you guys did it on the trick or treat night, and so Halloween. It, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I grew up in Central Pennsylvania where trick or treat night was a different night than Halloween. Really? Yeah, because they wanted to control it like to be a certain day of the week. So that's interesting. Yeah. So I still say that sometimes and people around here are exactly like you, like you mean Halloween, like, Oh, right. <laughs> yes, that is true. No matter what. Um, and remember that kid came up dressed like an the ender, ender dragon, dragon. Yeah. And like you and all your friends came out and like, were like, Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. And this kid was just like, high school kids think my costume's awesome. <laughs> did we take a group picture? With you him did. Too? Yeah. yeah. I have it somewhere. It's probably named image. Four seven one three five. Because <laughs> I haven't sorted my pictures, which is why I need to do that. But anyway, um, oh yeah, isn't? Oh okay, I was gonna say that would be a good time for Agatha Covenant Chaos to come out, but it uh, would be a good time. I don't it, think that's happening. They have said they're still doing like one or two more special presentations this year. Oh really? So they just they don't really say anything until like a month before they come out. So so they don't give you a hint as to what they are. Yeah. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's a Halloween one and hmm. a... Was Werewolf at Night a special presentation? Yeah. Okay. Um, and a Christmas one. They're, there's definitely going to do a Christmas one because the Christmas one was very popular for Guardians of the Galaxy. So it was Werewolf it's by Night. because it had Kevin Bacon in it. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but since like Marvel's moving to the whole occult thing, having these special presentations oh, on Halloween yeah. is so cool. Like I want... Yeah. I, um. I love uh, Elsa, I think it is. Elsa Bloodstone. I love Elsa Bloodstone in the comics. It might be Emma. Was that, I think it was Elsa. Are you talking about Werewolf at Night? Yeah. I think it was Elsa. Um, she's great in the comics, but I would love a special presentation with, um, oh, I can't remember his name that's going to be playing Blade. Uh, Mahash- uh, Mahashala. Is it Mahashala? Mah- Mahashala. I can never pronounce it. I think it's Mahashala Ali. I think that's what Mahershala? it is. I feel bad that I don't know how to, res- to uh, pronounce that. Uh, of course, my keyboard turned off right as I went to go type. He's he's been in a lot of. Um, it's it's it's. I'm not talking about Wesley Snipes. Thank you. No, no, Mar- it's spelled like it looks like Mahershala, but I think it might be pronounced slightly different. I don't yeah, think it's, it's just Mahershala. It, it is Mahershala Ali. Oh, it is Mahershala. I, well, I don't know how if that's the correct way to oh, say it, oh, but that's, gotcha. yeah, I was thinking of the right one. Yeah, he's the new Blade. Which is a great choice, by the way. I think he'll be a great Blade, um, although Wesley Snipes will always have a special place <laughs> as Blade. Especially for my generation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I love that they're moving into, like, R-rated movies, because now, like, Deadpool 3 is, like, Disney Plus approved Movie, like yeah, well, I, I think all the Deadpool movies are on Disney Plus, right? Which they are was now. the first R-rated, and slowly all the Spider-Man movies are too. All of the Sony movies are slowly, and now they even have a Universal Incredible Hulk on Disney Plus. The, the Ed Norton, yeah, huh? Interesting. Yeah, so the, Disney Plus is slowly getting all the all the rights to have their stuff on there because fans want it all in one spot. They want to they want to be able to watch that all. I wonder how how Edward Norton feels about. Like, <laughs> missing out on the whole Marvel universe. Yeah, no kidding. Um, or the person who used to play Rhodey, like, has been swearing oh, out yeah. Marvel. Terrence Howard. Yeah, since he got kicked out. Yeah. I have no idea what happened there and who's right or who's wrong, but. Um, I think they just decided to go with someone else other than Terrence Howard, and he was just mad about it. I thought I thought there was a contract dispute. Oh, maybe. I thought I he know. was upset about, like, not getting paid enough money or something. Um. But I mean, Don yeah. Cheadle's awesome. Uh, I Don Cheadle's very awesome. Yeah. But I would love to have a special presentation, seeing Mahershala Ali as Blade in the special presentation, mm. or some kind of vampire thing, even with like Dracula or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be so good. Interesting. Because I, there are rumors that in the Blade movie, there's Dracula is going to be one of the characters. Oh yeah. And I. I want that so bad. Think they're going to pull in Nick Cage to do it. It kind of, that would be funny. <laughs> it, it would, uh, 
It kind of sucks, though, because in the comics, there's a big relationship between Dracula and Captain America. But since Captain America really? isn't around anymore, there's that's not going to be a thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, Captain America will be around, just not Steve Rogers. Yes. The relation was with Steve. The, the problem is, is like, since Steve Rogers is around for so long, he's like friends with Namor and is old friends with Dracula. And, well frenemies with dracula um so it kind of sucks we're not going to be able to see some of those relations yeah in the future but well it'll I mean, still be cool to see dracula and namor so i mean there's so much that goes on in the comics that it'd be like impossible to pull it all out yeah that was one thing where like people have asked kevin feige how long he wants to do the mcu for and he was like well we have all of these storylines from the comics for the past um, 80 years that we can right. do. And I'm like, but you've also been killing off characters. Right. So like, you don't, you like will introduce a character and kill them off in the same movie yeah. or you've killed off yeah, Iron Man and Captain America, like two OG Avengers in both the comics and the, but I feel like the multiverse gives a lot of room. It's like an easy out to be like, well, this is actually happening on earth seven, four, one, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's something I think we're going to see in the future is there's going to be other spinoff movies that are going to take place in other universes and stuff like that that are technically connected, but they're not. Yeah. So at some point, the MCU is going to go from this interesting, long story arc mm -hmm. to, I was going to say a franchise. It's already a franchise. Just a bunch of disparate stories. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's going to blow up into one of those things. Yeah. And I hope they do it to the degree that Star Wars is at, where everything is separate but still connected in a in a cool way. Mm -hmm. um, but that can be hard to do. I think it'll just end up turning into a bunch of what if stuff. Honestly, well, I think what if is coming out? Another season of what if is coming out as well, right? Yeah. And isn't Mar aren't they going to do Marvel Zombies? I mean, oh my gosh, that would I have can't to, wait. that would have to be a like multiverse. It is, yeah. yeah. I can't wait for that. <laughs> I can't wait. It's but that's not this fall. That's like no. way down the road. Yeah, they haven't even come out with a release date for What If and Marvel Zombies. I want to see Marvel Zombies so bad, though. <laughs> I love the comics for that, uh, especially Spider-Man, because uh, Spider-Man like ate MJ and Aunt May. And um, so he was like trying to keep a secret from Iron Man, and Iron Man was like, was just like, so Aunt May and then Spider-Man just starts bawling his eyes out mm. uh, and crying because the zombies can only apparently like feel emotions if they eat or something like that in the comics. Like otherwise they just get really blood like uh, food hungry and they just like go crazy. That's, but they'll like gain consciousness as they eat. That's interesting because that feels a little bit similar to Eye Zombie where like they, it is. They eat the brain. They feel the emotions and the experience the memories of the brains they eat. It's a pretty common zombie trope nowadays. I, I, I suppose it is. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's been there's another series where it's like you can you like get the memories of the person's brain you eat or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I. <laughs> what? It's just such a weird thing. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't know how being a zombie suddenly unlocks all of these like powers, but right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Whew. All right. That was a lot of stuff. It is. I love fall. Well, I mean, I, I love that there's always fascinating new releases in the fall. I'm not sure how the writer's strike is going to affect some things like maybe TV shows that are episodic that go throughout the, throughout the fall. You know what I mean? Like as opposed yeah. to like something like stranger things, which would be released all at once, like on Netflix or something, you know what well, I mean? The thing is like now for a lot of the stuff that's going to be coming out through the rest of the year is that all the writing and acting has been done. And now it's I don't just know that like that's true. I don't know that that's true for everything though. Cause I well, think there, no, yeah, I think there are some that like they can't, really release some of the episodes they've done because they don't have the follow-up episodes that might be airing in say December or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how that works. And like, then there's the things that are weekly that, um, like I love last week tonight with John Oliver. That's not going to happen at all. Cause that's writing every week, you know, 
That's true. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that's not not going to be coming out. And I, I actually think as consumers, we're not going to fully experience the effects of the writer strike until like months from now oh, because yeah. of how production is going to be same thing as COVID. Yeah. Yeah, it is going to be like a delayed, um, my goodness. First yeah. COVID delayed everything. Yeah. And, and then, then, yeah, there's, and we're finally getting back on track and then the writer and actor. Right. I'm not Which, saying it's a bad thing. I'm oh just, no, the writers, they absolutely should be striking and the, uh, studios should be freaking doing something. Yeah. No kidding. But, and I'd say for any consumers that are listening to this, that you like, don't get mad at the actors and writers. Get right. mad at the studios. Get mad at the studios. Because yeah. if you if enough people get mad at the studios, then they'll actually hire back the actors and the writers at right. the reasonable prices that they should be hired back on. Yeah. As yeah. Well, they grammar. should be getting most of the, most of it has to do with like residuals and stuff. Yes. But still, like they need better contracts, and it's ridiculous. But anyway, uh, li- also listen to Elizabeth Olsen's advice, where she said only do one. Where it's like, if you want to be a part of a big franchise, don't agree to doing like three movies. Agree to doing one movie because then if you do one movie, they'll pay a lot more money for you to come back on for the oh, second movie. Interesting. She was saying that she wished she knew that because she agreed to do like Avengers Age of Ultron all the way through Endgame. Wow. When she probably could have made so much more money by just doing Ultron. Right. And then asking for a higher contract for future movies. She wasn't in Ultron. She was introduced. Oh, Elizabeth in Olsen. Yeah. Gotcha. Do I, I don't know why I was thinking you were talking about Brie Larson. I co- oh, totally mixed no. mixed them up. So I think because you were saying Marvel movies and my mind went Captain Marvel. Like, gotcha. You know what I mean? So anyway, anyway, wow. We've this is a long. <laughs> this is a long episode. We like our Marvel. Okay. We do. We do, and we love fall. And we love fall. I'm so excited for fall. Right now, we're in the middle of a heat wave as we record this, which I'm very frustrated about. But I know that fall is right around the corner. I'm so excited for sweatshirts and candles and fall leaves and cool air because summer sucks. Yeah, this is definitely the time where I can wear whatever I want. Like if I want to wear a T-shirt, I can wear a T-shirt. If I want to wear a long sleeve, I can wear a long sleeve. You can just be adaptable like as long as the weather is reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm. Oh, I love fall so much, so I'm very excited. So anyway. Anyway, uh, watch all the Marvel stuff. Play all the games you want. Enjoy <laughs> fall. Pumpkin spice. If you like pumpkin spice, eh, okay, fine. Go enjoy the pumpkin spice. Avoid the weird stuff. Avoid the weird stuff. You know, like pumpkin spice Oreos or... I don't remember the most. I did see one bizarre thing, but I don't remember what it is anymore, but... Like they've just put pumpkin spice everywhere. I, I'm not a huge fan of the pumpkin spice. I like pumpkin muffins and pumpkin pie, but that's pretty much where it ends. And I'll just eat those all year round. That's not a fall thing. Yeah, for me. right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but apple picking is. Yes. Yes. So anyway, so excited. All right. <laughs> Got a little off track there. Yes. Anyway, time for our Midwestern goodbye. Yes. Well, well, better get going. Well,